Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today we're going to be learning how to play factions. Now we're on Cosmic PvP factions and be aware that there are some differences to like this server and other servers. But I was thinking in one or two, one to two months I'll start a series on factions. So if you like this tutorial or if you've played Cosmic PvP before, keep this in mind because I'm thinking in one to two months to start a series on this. So, um, like, you might see a few videos here and there about factions, but after one or two, one to two months, I was thinking of actually starting a series. Anyways, so I'm most likely going to split this video into, like, how to play factions, like, what's the point of factions, like, special details about Cosmic PvP. Because there's just so much to explain about Cosmic PvP, it would be a pain for you guys to sit there for an hour and think, man, you know, I don't like this, it's taking forever. So I'm going to split this up into clumps of videos. So hopefully it's not too long for you guys. But um, anyways, today we're, I'm going to be explaining what is factions. Now, some of you may have played factions before, or maybe you play on Cosmic PvP, I don't know. But factions is basically the whole point of it is to get overpowered. To get lots of money, to get a huge base, and to get overpowered gear. Once you get that stuff, you're basically complete. Now, the whole, like, what you tend to do is you tend to want to get a base and the reason for this is you want either XP or you want iron slash um, ender pearls or gunpowder now cosmic PvP is unique in its way that it has spawners such as creeper spawners iron golem spawners um, enderman spawners and obviously the skelly and zombie spawners and um now XP and iron and ender pearls and gunpowder sell so you want to get money and if you do if you do slash money or slash bell you will see that you have money and you can get money by selling it in the ah which um basically you can do slash ah sell blah blah amount and it will tell you the amount like, like let's say you want to slash ah sell for a hundred or something i don't know and you want to sell your item for a hundred other people will do slash ah and they'll see your item in the auction house for 100 That guy sold 10 bricks for $100. And if you want to buy it, you just simply click it and click confirm purchase. Now, there, like auction house is what age stands for, by the way. That's why I always do age because it's easier to type than auction house. Anyways, so that's why you do slash age, just, just simply short for auction house. And so basically, you can either do that or you can sell it in the custom made shop. With it has few features, however, and you can most likely sell it for more than the AH. But as you see here, you can buy stuff in the in here for 64 dirt for 195. You can sell 64 dirt for 45. Anyways, so once you get the money, like so, be aware by the way, it has a new um. Cosmic PVP is also unique in having a slash XP bottle amount, and like. You can basically slash XP bottle, uh, so you yeah, slash XP bottle 25, and you have 25 XP. Now this is handy because XP actually sells for a lot, and I will explain that in another video, so don't worry about that. But anyways, so you can get XP to sell. That's why you want probably a grinder with like skeleton spawners and zombie and blaze and all those good stuff. And so once you get money, that's one thing done. So once you get rich in money, you're one third complete. The next thing is you want a base. Now when I say base, I don't mean a cool looking house with like windows and all that. I mean obsidian covered with water flowing around it, region walls. I will explain region. I'll explain walls in another video as well. But I do have, like I do know that bases are a very important aspect of factions. So bases are basically obsidian box, to put it in like easiest form, obsidian box where nobody can get through. Now the like you probably want to enter that because you want to get their blaze spotters, their enderman spotters and all that to, for your own uses, right? Now the way you do this is by you make TNT cannons and like this, there's this whole formula for like doing cannons and like what you want to do for this kind of wall. It's all tricky stuff, but basically you just want to break the wall. And so then you just simply get the spiders. So you want a money and you want a good base that nobody can get through and it has good stuff in it, like IGs or which stands for iron, iron golem by the way. Uh blazes, Enderman, um, 
zombies, spiders, all that. And so that's the second thing done. The third thing is that you want good gear. Now, Cosmic PvP has custom enchants. As you see here, there's Rage, Thunder, Blow, Paralyze, Trap. You don't see these in regular videos. Or, not, sorry, not regular videos, but in regular faction servers. See, now, like, for example, Rage, every hit you do, it does more damage. And I'll explain all the other enchants. That's going to be in another. That's why XP is so important. But anyways, so it, it's important for having custom enchants. So armor, it, it gets a lot harder. Like, it's really easy. If you want protection for on breaking three, that's that's not too hard to get. But to get a helmet like this, or like a sword like this, it's a lot harder. So PvP is a lot more fun and a lot harder. Anyways, so if you get money, and you got a base, and you have overpowered gear, you're basically done with actions. And so you basically want a good economy, a good way to get money, gear, bases, and you're complete. Now... I will be doing videos on like enchanting, like custom enchants. I will do a video on walls. I don't think I will do on a video on TNT cannons, but I'm pretty sure you can find that in other videos. And I think that's about it. If I have another thing that I need to put, I will put that in a video. But anyways, so I hope that if you don't play factions and like you've never played it, that you guys kind of see what's it about. And if you sort of kind of, oh, okay, maybe I may like this, and I don't know. If he, if he puts a good tutorial up, I'll, I'll watch it. So I'm going to put uh, more tutorials for, like, custom enchants and walls, as I already said. And, um, yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the tutorial, leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.